Watson. We've got a big case here. Where have you been? So yesterday we heard about something that's kind of trending on Twitter. At least it was trending with Paul Manafort, which is pretty amazing. And over 50 people were indicted, charged, and or pled guilty to a series of um, conspiracy crimes, I guess you could say. Um, basically getting kids into college for free. Like, and I'm not talking small colleges, I'm talking Yale, Harvard, uh, USC, other big name, some Ivy League. And it basically went down like this. So there was uh, 50 people total. There was two slush funds, if you will. They were, what's the word for it? I, they were money laundering, essentially. What you would do is you go donate to this fund that would then in turn pay a teacher or pay um, an SAT or ACT administrator to take the test for you. You could also bribe a couple of the coaches that don't receive that much funds from the university, and you'd bribe them into uh, giving your child an academic scholarship. And they'd sit on the sidelines, they'd not actually play, they'd be a member of the soccer team, but not really uh, play for the soccer team because, well, they're garbage, unless they actually tried to put forth the effort. So what it was, interestingly enough, was a bunch of rich people. Um, CEOs, there's a ton of them on the list. Um, there was 50 people on a list, and I have a link in the description for that. Um, two of them were actresses, and these actresses made this case famous because people care about actors for some stupid reason. I'm more interested in the CEOs that were paying for this shit. No one gives a shit about the CEOs, right? Well, here's the fun part. So I got on Twitter. That was my first mistake. And I noticed that a bunch of people were bitching about it, but they weren't bitching about, um, what was it, college conspiracy or college scandal or anything like that, because those are the trending hashtags at this point in time. No, they were, tr they were trying to trend Aunt Becky was the hashtag. So if you're not aware, this is a method to which they call out a racial incident, if you will, and blame it on racial differences and turn it everything into a fucking race thing. So this this offended me in more ways than one. First off, if, if you couldn't figure it out by now and you haven't been watching my content, then sorry, but I am a doctor. I got a doctor as a management, um, an organizational leadership. It's kind of a socio-psychology degree mixed with a little bit of philosophy, but mostly a socio-psychology. Enough. Don't ever try to flatter me or you'll be sorry. I don't like it. The thing that irritated me is I paid my own way through college. I had to because my parents are poor. Take a rest. She's too small. The pieces that pissed me off is they went immediately and said, oh, these rich white people are getting their kids and paying for their kids into college. Meanwhile, us black people have to fight and here's this affirmative action and it really doesn't do us any good and all this other shit. It doesn't help that there was another story that came out today, and I believe this story came out today because of the other one, and of course everybody jumped on that fucking racist bandwagon too, because this girl, clearly a brilliant girl, scored a near perfect on the SAT, and they're saying that her test was invalid twice because she scored too high. Um, that seems bizarre. It sounds more like a clerical error than anything. Or it could be that the douchebag uh, that is the clerk, the administrator behind it, is basically being racist. That is a possibility. I will grant that because that is ve very much possible. It could be the administration at her school just doesn't like her. That could also be possible. Um, and they might not like her for race. However, I'm not about to go assume race just because she happens to be black yeah, she's pretty fucking smart. That race has nothing to do with individual IQ. There is racial demographics that demonstrate a curve, a median score of IQ, based upon a large sample size, and I'm talking half a million people. You cannot take an average and apply it to an individual. The law of averages specifically states that. You will never be able to determine, based on an average of a major population, like 100,000 people, what an individual is. It's not possible. The law of averages says you're a moron for trying. <gasps> Next time, don't make a mistake. 
But what happened with these schools? So what happened was 50 people uh, got busted. There was two administrators that were doing SAT tests for these kids that were paying their way, basically. All these CEOs that were paying into this got busted, every last one of them. Some of them uh, were giving money to the coaches individually. Some of them were going through the fund to do a charity event, as they would call it, and that money would just slide under the table to the to the uh, teacher, not to the administration, but it was mostly like coaches, or they'd pay to get a guaranteed in. So the... Uh, person on the inside, the, the coach or whatever, would make sure that their name was approved to go to this school. To USC was one of them, to Yale was another one, Harvard was another one. So these Ivy League schools basically were accepting bribes. Now, if anybody didn't think that this didn't happen in the first place, you're a moron. Quite quite simply, of course. Uh, uh, money corrupts. That's, that's the nature of money, unfortunately, because greed corrupts people. And when you have a bunch of places that are underfunded, of course they're going to try and look for extra cash. But to assume this is racist because a bunch of rich bastards paid their way to get their kids into these schools is frankly offensive, racist, bigoted. I, there's so many words. And you know who's doing it, of course. It's the, the tireless regressives who seem to think everything is about race. <laughs> Well, if it was the case that I have this white privilege, because that was one of the cards thrown down during this conversation, if I had this white privilege, I would have no student debt, I would have gotten into college no problem, I would have had my scholarship had I been able to get there and do it, I would have had a dance scholarship, mind you. This chubby bastard has some moves. Now, I would have had all of this, or I could have been on the marching band, because I also play instruments. I could have had all of that because my white privilege, right? No, I didn't get any of it. In fact, I have $200,000 in student debt. I have a PhD because I worked on it. I almost failed out of college. I did not graduate high school. I never, never did well on the SAT or ACT. I can guarantee you that because I hate tests. <laughs> I can tell you now that this type of thing is bullshit. So they're trying to claim the law of averages on, on this white privilege shit, too. Well, this is 50 people that all tried to game the system. Yes, many of them were probably white. I tried looking up a few of them, but I kept on getting pictures of the actresses. I did, however, find out that a few of the coaches and a few of the people that were administrators trying to do the test for people, not white. A few of the CEOs that paid their way to get their uh, kids into college, not white. In fact, one of them was Chinese. I was kind of weird out, weirded out about that. Last name was Chin. And I was like, okay, that's bizarre, but whatever. Needless to say, I watched the entire world turn this into a racist thing and got irritated. I also got irritated that uh, this individual that has a near-perfect score on the SAT, because she definitely is a smart person, is getting slighted by the system. And I wondered if these weren't connected. Maybe she's getting slighted because the administrators just got busted, or perhaps um, the integrity of the test is now into question because there was people paying their way to get a perfect test, perfect score. So now they're second-guessing everything. Um, that could also be true. I mean, there's a billion different reasons why. Master, can you tell me who has right on their side? Right is right, wrong is wrong. Who is in the right or who is in the wrong cannot be judged without proper knowledge. Here's, here's the fun thing in closing. Those that paid their kids into school, if you're ranting and raving about this and you're in my position and you happen to be somebody that's a minority, you don't have this color of skin, Think of it this way. You busted your ass to get through school. Maybe you graduated. Maybe you're done. Maybe you're not done yet. But either way, you're in the school, right? These son of a bitches are so fucking stupid, they had to have their parents pay their way in to college for them to go to college. Think about that. That makes you better than them. They had to pay their way. They had to cheat on the SAT. You didn't. But it's white privilege and it's racist because they, they use the mechanism that they had, albeit illegal, to get their kids into school. I think you should take a hard look at yourself if you're calling this shit racist. 
Really, it's classist. These people had the money to try and work the system. They got busted because there's laws to prevent people from working the system. Fortunately, and I bet you hate this shit, under the Trump administration, they're going to jail. How do you like that shit? Do you think this would happen under another administration? Maybe, maybe not. Depends on if they got busted or not under that administration and whether or not the president just let it slide or not. Funny that we're hearing about it under the Trump administration all of a sudden, especially since Betsy DeVos took over the Department of Education. Something like this, a major investigation like this, would have had to been approved by uh, somebody at that level. Just saying. The Department, the U.S. Attorney, the Department of Justice, are the ones that um, basically arrested and are throwing a bunch of these bastards in jail. It's a classist system. It's because these ultra-wealthy bastards paid for their kids to get into college. The kids that they're paying for have to be really fucking stupid if they can't get in there themselves. So, what does that tell you about their, their education system there? Oh, and just one last thing. I wanted to add a silver lining on this. I had about 80% of the people on the list from California. You elitist sons of bitches really think you know what's better than everyone else? But you have to pay your way to get into college? That's utterly, utterly pathetic. All right, that's all I had. Um, actually, this is my second recording of this. The other one, I was, I was really livid and I was all over the place. So I thought I'd calm down and put some uh, bullet points, if you will, so I wouldn't go all over the damn place on this. I hope you enjoyed this video. Catch you next time. I've completed my work. Time for me to go.